It's a brand new episode of the 360 Daily Show and on today's show, guess who our social media star is? Jay-Z and Timberland sued for copyright infringement, which of our celebrities got spotted. And lastly, everything on Aretha Franklin's handwritten wills. First off on our trending news, three handwritten wills found in Aretha Franklin's home. Three handwritten wills have been found in the suburban Detroit home of Aretha Franklin months after the death of the Queen of Soul, including one that was discovered under cushions in the living room, a lawyer said on Monday. Now the latest one is dated March 2014 and appears to give the famous singer's assets to family members. Some writing is extremely hard to decipher, however, the four pages have words scratched out and phrases in the margin. Now Franklin was 76 years old when she died last August of pancreatic cancer. Lawyers and family members said at the time that she had no will, but three handwritten versions were discovered earlier this month. Two from 2010 were found in a locked cabinet after a key was located. The 2014 version was inside a spiral notebook under the cushion, said an attorney for Franklin's estate, David Bennett. Now Bennett, who was Franklin's lawyer for more than 40 years, filed the wills on Monday. He told the judge that he's not sure if they are legal under Michigan law. After hearing, a hearing is scheduled for June 12th, Bennett said the wills were shared with Franklin's four sons or their lawyers, but that a deal wasn't reached on whether any should be considered valid. A statement from the estate said two sons objected to the wills. Next up, Spotify tests voice controlled in car listening device called Car. Thing. Now, Spotify is testing a voice-controlled in-car device for music and podcast listening in what might be a nod to Dr. Seuss's nomenclature. The gadget is named Car Thing and was rolled out on Friday. According to a post in the streaming platform's blog newsroom, Americans spend 70 billion hours in their automobiles each year, and Spotify wants to learn how to listen behind the wheel. Now, Car Thing will be tested in the U.S. only with a small cohort of select Spotify premium users. There are no plans to make this specific device available available more broadly, but similar programs may be rolled out in the future, including voice thing and home thing. According to these early reports, car thing will likely connect to the car dashboard using Bluetooth technology with preset icons for often used playlists, not unlike how car radios have preset buttons for radio stations that are listened to regularly. Now, electronic manufacturers, Flex, will reportedly be the device's maker. Next up, Kim Kardashian West announces the name of her fourth child with Kanye. Kim Kardashian West on Friday announced the name of her fourth child with husband Kanye West. Sound! Now the name announcement came a week after Kim confirmed on Twitter that the baby boy had arrived after being born via a surrogate mom. On Friday, she also debuted his highly anticipated name on Twitter. Now Kim, 38, and Kanye, 41, have been married since 2014 and had three other children, North, Five, Saint, Three, and Chicago, who is one. Kim began using a surrogate after dealing with a number of issues during her first two pregnancy. Now, there have been rampant speculation online about the name, and fans skirt skimmed social media for clues. When she included the bear emoji in a batch of photos, people immediately thought it could be bear. It is not clear what inspired the name Psalm, a well-known book in the Bible, but Kanye has made his interest in religion known recently, even hosting a Sunday service at Coachella this year that critics said was more about self-promotion than anything else. Of course, when it comes to a fancy names, you know Kim Kardashian and Kanye West had to go all out, and I think Psalm is a good name, but you know, having you know a full house, your, your first kid's name is North, then you have Chicago, you have Saint, now you have Psalm. Saints and Psalm, quite religious if you ask me, but I like Kim Kardashian's kid's name. I think it's a, I think it's good to go out of the box once in a while as opposed to having those normal regular names, and those kids are gonna stand out for the rest of their lives, obviously. Welcome back to the show, guys. Now, this is the Spotted segment. And first off, we have Prince William and Kate as they enjoy a fun-filled day with their kids. Kate Middleton will unveil her Woodland Wilderness Garden at the Chelsea Flower Show in London this week. But before being unveiled, she took her husband, Prince William, and their kids, Prince George V, Princess Charlotte IV, and Prince Louis I, to the Back to Nature Garden to try it out. Next up, singer Simi is all shades of gorgeous in new photos. Now, singer Simi is all shades of gorgeous in these stunning new photos she posted on her Instagram page, so check her out. Next up, we have another singer, Nomani, and she flaunts her beauty. American singer and dancer Nomani Koday took to Instagram to share these stunning photos of herself posing in a black top and revealing baggy trousers, which showcased her backside. 